today is very different. Today I'm going to do something in your mind. It will uh, facilitate them to have a close look at data tables and the relationships hidden in the data. So it's a big uh, challenge for them to both learn a new method as well as uh, trying to learn how to use the software to create these uh, interactive graphics from the data itself. And of course, where we all go wrong here is by the fact that these lovely people at Fox Channel have graphed in a pie chart percentages. In their previous education, our students of course have uh, learned to use line charts, bar charts, pie charts. And I do start uh, the visual analytics course with these uh, basic uh, charting technologies because uh, there are some pitfalls uh, they have to be careful uh, about. Creating a pie chart, basically you do to simplify something to the level that a pizza courier will understand it. So I learned them the limitations of these charts on the one hand and introduced them to a more advanced way of looking at the data. I think it's really interesting because Mr. Melser shows that a chart can be really manipulative and bring you on other ideas than it really says it is. A very interesting introduction I usually give is uh, the so-called uh, airline case. And although the table is very small, you can learn quite a lot from it. And I have a simple question. And the, and the question is, who's best? Air France. Yeah. Air France. Okay, you sir. Air France. Air France. KLM. KLM. Uh, Japan Airlines. <laughs> Pan Am. Air France. It's getting boring. The outcome this time was really interesting. They were a little bit smarter than uh, most audiences. And as a result, uh, a good number of the students found out that one of the best performers, from my perspective, that is, uh, turned out to be the best. And of course, Pan Am is biggest here. So all those guys, and there were 15. Are you okay? <laughs> Spectrum Up is both a methodology and a software product. And basically, Spectrum Up makes it possible to look at data that have, first of all, large differences in size, but also are being measured by different dimensions. For example, by monetary value, or by square meters, or any measure really can be visualized in this, this graphic. Spectrum Up is a biplot. It visualizes both the columns of a data table and the rows together in one solution. And the software, of course, is necessary to create these graphs, and hence the name. So basically, it takes only two dimensions to visualize this data in a new graphic. Well, isn't that Star Trek? Here you are. Because Spectrum Up shows you hidden relationships, you sometimes get a result out of uh, the visualization you don't expect. The first one is the uh, so-called uh, European sales uh, table, where uh, we find pharmaceutical products being sold uh, in particular volumes in European countries. And the visualization followed the geography of uh, the European map, with the Denmark and the Netherlands in the north, and France and Spain and Italy uh, in the south. People sometimes think that it, I did that on purpose, that I put those squares on the map, but that's not the case. It's pulled out of the data itself. That's quite fun, actually, uh, to see how it actually works in 3D. I just have to sit down in the weekends and take the time to have a look at it, and then uh, everything will turn out right, hopefully. I, I think we, with a little bit of practice, with a little bit more practice, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can be masters in this program, and then we can use it, uh, use it more. <laughs> 